Well, the short answer is you can apply to the Treasury through its Office for Financial Sanctions Implementation for a general license to enable you to either continue to act for the sanctioned individual, which I think would be unlikely to be granted, or alternatively, uh, that you may be gr granted a limited license to enable you to be paid for work that you've already done or some such. The point is that you could only act for clients, be paid by clients and so on, under the terms of a Treasury license. And if you acted outside the confines of the Treasury license, you would be breaching the sanctions uh, legislation and you would be subject to a criminal offence. And I think the impact of the sanctions has a sort of kind of ripple effect, because if somebody is sanctioned, we can't be paid, but the staff can't be paid either. And if one looks at Chelsea Football Club, of course, they couldn't pay the players, they couldn't pay the staff, they couldn't open the gates, they couldn't sell tickets, they could do nothing until the Treasury granted them a blanket general license to continue operating as a football club. So I think the point is that you need a license from the Treasury to be able to do anything for these people. Um, of course, there are some exemptions, but they're few and far between. And uh, you then are allowed to act within the confines of the license. Now, indications are that a license would likely to be granted, as I've said, to enable you to be paid, but to do no further work.